Hey guys, welcome back to the DNN Medical Series. Today I'll be telling you about something super important and it's the cubital fossil. So the cubital fossil is the transition between the arm and your forearm. So down here is your forearm, up here is your arm. So this, this space between here is your cubital fossil. So today I'll be telling you all about your cubital fossa, the boundaries, the surfaces, and the muscles, floor, and content. So it's anterior to the elbow joint. So as you can see, her elbow is right there, right? And the elbow joint is a synovial hinge joint. And the cubital fossa is this anterior space right there. So it's in the shape of a triangle so let me show it to you like this because we're going to talk all about the boundaries so i'm enjoying it on my live specimen thanks to nadine who donated her arm for this video and so let's talk about the boundaries so if it's a triangle you know we have a base we have the lateral aspect as well as the medial aspect and we have the floor as well as the content inside of this triangle so remember the key thing to remember is the transition between the arm and the forearm so let's now talk about the different boundaries so on this side you know this is on the side of your thumb it's the lateral side so the cubital fossil is basically surrounded by two main muscles so it's a brachioradialis muscle on the lateral side so i just put br for that one brachioradialis and pronator teres on the medial side so brachioradialis on the lateral side pronator teres on the medial side so let me put m for medial l for lateral so you guys can understand so let's now talk about the roof so the roof of the cubital fossa is basically here which is the base of your triangle and it consists of three main things so it consists of skin i'm just going to denote that with an f with a s also consists of fascia f as well as the bicipital upper neurosis so put that as a b and a small a so the roof skin fascia superficial fascia and bicipital aponeurosis so that's your roof so we're building the house we got the roof we got the boundaries lateral and medial now let's talk about inside let's talk about the floor of your house so on the inside of our house or a little space right here we have the capsule of the elbow joint so i'm just going to put capsule let me try to find a marker so capsule, this one is not very good. The capsule, oh, that is visible. The capsule of your elbow joint. That is not very hard to remember, because remember, the cubital fossa is basically anterior to your, the elbow joint is anterior to your cubital fossa. So the capsule is really off but you know that this is a capsule of your elbow joint another thing in the floor is your brachialis so your brachialis muscle is in the floor as well as supinatal so we have the capsule of your elbow joint brachialis muscle and supinator muscle so those are in the floor of your cubital fossa so just before we go through the content let's just run over everything we did before so this this transition between the arm and the forearm is your cubital fossa so this is your cubital fossa right here the space between your arm forearm so it's like a triangular space or area and on the lateral side we have brachioradialis muscle on the medial side we have pronator teres muscle on our roof we have skin superficial fascia and bicipital aponeurosis 
So that's that. On our inside our roof, inside our floor, we have the capsule of the elbow joint, the brachialis muscle, as well as supinator muscle. So that's basically the roof, lateral surface, medial surface, as well as our floor. So the final thing we're going to do for today, guys, is we're going to talk about the contents of the cubital fossa. So that's basically what's in it. So I use the mnemonic MBBS. So you're doing an a MBBS degree, so this should be pretty easy to remember. So from medial to lateral, it's MBBS. Medial, lateral, MBBS. So let's talk what they are. So the first M right here medial is the median nerve the next one is brachial artery the next thing bicep tendons or tendons of your bicep muscle and the last thing the s is for the structures on your roof so remember the structures on your roof skin superficial fascia and bicipital aponeurosis and other things in the as contents are basically the basilic and the cephalic veins or the medial and lateral cutaneous nerve of forearm those pass through here as well but the main thing are your MBBS remember again median nerve brachial artery bicep tendons or tendon of your biceps as well as the structures on your roof so let's just do a brief overview of everything we did today guys so say them with me so the cubital fossa is an anterior space anterior to your elbow and it's the transition between your arm and your forearm so on the lateral aspect we have brachioradialis muscle medial aspect we have pronator teres muscle on our roof we have skin fascia and bicipital aponeurosis our floor, remember our floor that I erased, we have the capsule, the brachialis muscle, as well as supinator. And the content is MBBS, median nerve, brachial artery, bicep tendons or tendons of your biceps, as well as the structures on your roof. So that's it for your cubital fossa today, guys. I hope you guys learned something and I hope it's very easy for you now. And continue to practice, practice, and practice. Until next time, see you soon. Bye.